Number one is Arcadian Heights, written by Michael Hills. Two, Carouge, John Reed. Three, Morley Street, John Williams. Four, Oso oh Risky, Richard Quinn. Five, Sonus, Frankie de Torre. Six, Vintage Crop, from Ireland, of course, Michael Canaan. Seven, My Patriarch, Cash Asmussen. Eight, Rain Tramp, from France, Pat Edry. And nine, Safety in Numbers, Kevin Daly. And here's the current bit. And Vintage Crop has expected open at even money. Rain Trap 5 to 1 from 9 to 2, together with my Patriarch. 6 to 1 Sonus, 14 to 1 Safety in Numbers, 25 Oh So Risky, Arcadian Heights and Carouge, and 50 to 1 Morley Street. And that's it, two and a half miles, and they're running, and Morley Street just dwells a little in the stalls, and Arcadian Heights going on in the early stages. Arcadian Heights from Carouge over on the far side, then Vintage Crop and Sonus, and My Patriarch with Cash Asperson trying to relax My Patriarch. He's being followed by Safety and Numbers. And then Morley Street, who made up that ground, oh so risky in the back marker, Rain Trap and Arcadian Heights making it from Carouge. Carouge, Nigel Twiston Davis is Scottish champion hurdle winner and his first ever runner at Royal Ascot in second here with Vintage Crop the favourite third, then Sonus and My Patriarch with Cash covering up My Patriarch to the best of his ability, trying to uh, relax him. He's still taking a pretty strong hold though, being followed by safety in numbers. Pat uh, Edery has eased Rain Trap a little bit closer to the lead. Morley Street is next. And then the one time pre Gladiateur winner, uh, so Risky, the back marker, and Arcadian Heights, the leader, as they come down to the winning post with another complete circuit. And Arcadian Heights from Carouge, Vintage Crop and Sonus and My Patriarch. And then comes Rain Trap. Safety in numbers, Morley Street, and finally, oh so Risky. Arcadian Heights by a couple of lengths from Carouge. The favourite who's taken a pretty strong hold on to Michael Canaan in third. Four is Sonus, five my Patriot, six is Rain Trap. As they begin the run down towards Swinley Bottom. Just a mile and a half to run now in the Gold Cup. And Arcadian Heights, the leader from Carouge. Then Vintage Crop. Then Sonus, then My Patriarch, who's taking a very strong hold still uh, under Cash Asperson. Behind him comes Rain Trap, Safety in Numbers, Morley Street, and then Oh So Risky. Arcadian Heights by a couple of lengths from Carouge, who's three lengths up on Vintage Crop, a length and a half then to Sonus, a length and a half, or a length possibly only to My Patriarch, a gap of two then to Rain Trap. Then safety in numbers, Morley Street, and oh so risky. Running down into Swinley Bottom. And still, Arcadian Heights with my patriarch tugging his way up there, in fact, to challenge him and take it up with a mile. Uh, Cash Asmussen clearly sees no point in continuing a battle with him he's hoping to relax him in front he's gone to the front on my patriarch with arcadian heights second vintage crop is third oh so risky is making a good run from the rear now seven furlongs to run and it's my patriarch from arcadian heights and vintage crop then on the outside oh so risky behind uh, oh so risky carouge and then sonus and behind uh, Sonus is Rain Trap. Morley Street is now the back marker, one in front of him and being chased along is safety in numbers. And it's My Patriarch from Arcadian Heights, Vintage Crop. Then Oh So Risky on the outside of Carouge. Sonus getting closer. They're well inside the final half mile now. Arcadian Heights goes back to challenge my Patriarch for the lead as they swing into the home straight here at Ascot and it's Arcadian Heights and My Patriarch these two from Vintage Crop behind them Sonus and Oh So Risky coming home well Arcadian Heights has gone for home now with the challenger Vintage Crop then comes Sonus 
And then comes Rain Trap putting in a run as My Patriarch drops out of it. It's Arcadian Heights from Vintage Crop. Arcadian Heights inside the final furlong from Vintage Crop. Arcadian Heights from Vintage Crop as they race up towards the line. Arcadian Heights is holding Vintage Crop. Arcadian Heights is going to win the Gold Cup at the line. Arcadian Heights is the winner. Vintage Crop is second. So does his third ring trap four. Safety numbers five. Six is also risky. Seven is Carouge. Eight is Morley Street. And ninth and last. There was no chance of him getting home. The way he pulled was my patriarch. And so a sensational result to the 1994 Ascot Gold Cup and the winner, number one, Arcadian Heights, owned by Mr. John Pierce, trained by Geoffrey Ragg and written by Michael Hills, puts Michael on the three-winner mark and what a fantastic double for the trainer and the rider to complete after their triumph in the Cork and Orrery. Second was number six, the favourite vintage crop owned by Dr. Michael Smurfit, trained by Michael Canaan. A train by uh, Dermot Weld and written by Michael Canan. And third was number five, Sonus, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by John Gosden and written by Frankie de Torre. Fourth was number eight, Rain Trap. And this is the winner, the 20 to 1 winner of the Gold Cup, Ar Arcadian Heights by Shirley Heights out of Miss Longchamp up by Northfields, owned and bred by John Pierce. Number one first, number one, Arcadian Heights, 20 to 1. A second number six, Vintage Crop, 11 to 10 favourite. And third number five, Sonus, 8 to 1.